How's it going everybody? Rye right here today and we are back with our Philadelphia Flyers franchise mode here in season number five I believe it is and we are ready after the amazing offseason we had to get it started and see if we have officially become I mean we've been a top team right like every season we're near well, except for two seasons ago um, we've been at the top of the entire league or at the top of the conference at least now I think we can make some noise in the playoffs we've really failed to do that uh, at any point in this franchise mode. So hopefully today is the day we start on the right foot. But here we go, guys, as I accidentally hit the clip button on my controller. Let's jump in and get this thing started. I asked you guys at the last, uh, at the end of the last episode, should we have Line A or Halton on the top line? I think I'm going to keep Line A up there. We signed him to be the goal scorer he is. That 94 wrist shot accuracy, I mean, the uh, mid-90s, 93, 94, 92, right? That's all great. Halton in, he's close, right? He's got 91 power with 83 wrist shot accuracy. I want to see him develop a bit more. His offensive awareness is off the charts. I mean, that's insanely good. Um, his passing and puck control, like, he is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal player. But for me... I think playing him on the top line would rush him into it, and that's exactly why we just went out and spent $11 million over five years on Patrick Line. So we're going to leave him there. Everything else, I think, is good and ready to go. So we're going to have to set up the scouting and then get into this one, guys. We got the Minnesota Wild at home to open the season, so we are going to be playing. Do we Wait, did we not play the Wild last time? Um, you know what? I think I'll play the Capitals. Or, oh, maybe the Rangers. The Rangers have been, like, our, our toughest uh, competitors, I think. So maybe the Rangers at home will be the first game we played. It won't be the home opener like I normally like to do, but we'll simulate a couple games, see how things go. Maybe, you know, see who's performing early in the season and uh, jump in. But I will set up the scouts and jump right back with you guys. The scouts have been assigned. We are ready to go. I'm excited for this one, guys. I, I really like the line A signing, the Klingberg trade. I, I think this team is poised to really make some noise. And Carter Hart's healthy again. So hopefully we won't run into an issue like that. <clears throat> Everybody wants Daigle. I'm surprised. Like a medium starter goaltender, he's got so much value. Everybody's trying to offer me like day two picks. Well, sorry, that's my NFL brain talking. <laughs> day two picks being uh, rounds two and three. Um, oh, stop the sim. Stop the sim. We want to make sure we've got our seventh defenseman. Alton in the preseason machine. <laughs> but I want to make sure I've got my scratched players uh, all set to go. Um, scratched here is Ellis and McIsaac. I think I want to send Ryan Ellis down. Actually, at 77, with so many players in the AHL that I believe I, I want to have playing, um, you know, Ty Higgins, not one of them, but, uh, you know, looking at the defense in the AHL with Nikitin, Wiley, Zamora, Virgilio, uh, Ronnie Adderd would probably be the guy I dropped. Um, but, you know, he kind of fits the mold for what's the, what to expect down there in the AHL. Um, Zamula, yeah, we got a bunch of like 20 year olds. Uh, with Nikitin and Virgilio, some 26-year-olds with Wiley and Zamula, Andre, uh, he's only 24, so I don't, I don't want to mess up those guys. I do still need to sign, I think that is uh, one, two, three, um, actually, wait, uh, we scratched, I believe, uh, no, Gavin, Jordan Gavin, we signed him, so... Wow, he looks real as a playmaker with 88 passing and 88 puck control. He just needs to work on that defensive cap. He's so weird. Like, his build is like, it's so, he's disciplined. He's got average offensive awareness, elite puck skills. His shot is hard, but not accurate. Um, he's an he's an above average skater, and but his defense is awful. So, uh, we'll see how he grows. He's only 19 with medium top six as an other forward. We'll see how he develops. Uh, but I do want to sign one, actually, just one, two, three... Uh, Millman is a defenseman, so probably need to sign somebody for that. So one, so three, five, five, five uh, forwards. I think five forwards uh, for the AHL would make the most sense. Um, so we're going to go here, free agents. Um, and then we can actually sign somebody to be our seventh uh, or our, uh, a forward that I can just sign. Uh, like Sherwood here, a two-way forward that he fits all the penalty kill. Uh, Connor Duar. Uh, we don't know if he fits, but he's a playmaker who looks honestly really good, but I'd rather have somebody good defensive. Um, can we get the defensive category? Who's got the best defensive category? And it is Hall here, the 77 checking forward, or Chase on the power forward. Um, we've got Curtis Hall here, power forward. He's got 85. His, his passing and offensive awareness are terrible. Um, I think Chase on, yeah, Ch Alex Chase on seems to be at 36. The perfect kind of guy that we can get. There's two teams interested. Um, so we'll give him the max amount of money on a two-way deal. There we go. I hope he'll sign that and he'll just be a, our scratched forward. Other than that, I want to take a look at two-way deals. 
uh, sort, sorting by overall, maybe not too much by overall. Um, we definitely want to power forward in Entvice, Entvisel. Uh, we'll sign him for a year. I don't want to get too many great players. You know, I mean, that sounds really weird, but Rocco Grimaldi, the perfect kind of guy at 33. Uh, 25 year old Baines, why not? Um, we'll go with uh, Johnson Fralby. No, we will go with R2 Roots Alignin because of my uh, Buffalo Sabres. And then we can also sign Hall, who's a power forward, sure. Um, that's right, we looked at him. He's got that defensive category. Uh, we've offered six contracts, so five for the AHL, so we should be good. Um, and we could, uh, we think we should be ready. Chason's accepted. Beautiful. So he, uh, for said, screw those other contracts. I'd rather be the, uh, 13th forward, uh, on the team here. So we're going to go ahead and go to options, go to roster move, just call him up because, um, I don't want him taking playing time away from any of the guys down there. Chason. Yep. He's the best guy. Perfect. He does not have to clear waivers either. So we really don't have to send anybody down. If we advance the day, we should be getting all of our guys, or we've already assigned our scouts. Um, can we, and Vissel, Hall, Grimaldi, Baines, and Rotes Alignin are all here. So we're going to go down to the AHL, edit those lines real quick, um, and then we can jump ahead to the, the, the game we're playing against the Washington Capitals. Uh, Gavin, let's get you um, up for Hall. Baines in Grimaldi. So Grimaldi is a sniper with a good shot, actually. Playmaker, two-way forward. And then Hall is a power forward, right? Um, so he would fit instead of Baines. Um, but I think I'd like to put him at... Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Tyson Forrester, Wisdom. Um, I'm trying to figure out here what we want to do. Uh, Denoyer, no, definitely not that. I think, actually, I like Gavin being on the first line center. Uh, maybe second line center. Um, just because I think, yeah, at 74 overall, I think a second line center in the AHL would make a lot of sense considering he's a great playmaker. We'll check it out at the at another time. But uh, Nikitin up there and then Virgilio there. And I think, yeah, that's what we wanted. Wiley, I was Wiley up to a 78 now? I don't think he was a 78 before. Uh, and then in goal, we've got Blomqvist and Thompson. Blomqvist is the starter, so he could be a backup of the future when Hunter Jones is done. But that's the AHL. We don't care too much about it. We do, but we don't. Uh, and then here, yeah, there's Hunter Jones. So we should be ready to go here. Um, the beginning of the season is upon us. How are we going to do early in this one? We've got this game against the Rangers that we're going to play for sure. Against the Minnesota Wild, we win 3-2, a big early season win. A 5-3 loss against the Oilers. 8-1 loss against the Tampa Bay Lightning, and a 4-3 loss to the Capitals. We definitely need to jump in and hopefully just uh, fix what's going on here. So the first period, nobody scored. It's 1-1 after two, Dubois and Miller scoring. So let's jump into this one, guys. I think I actually kind of want to wear our uh, reverse retro jerseys. What are their reverse retros? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, we, we got to do a reverse retro matchup. I know we're at home and whatnot, but... We're starting with Haltonen and Line A. Oh, man, I'm excited. Haltonen up to an 85. Can't forget about Bill Lehman either. So let's jump into this one. Uh, you can see we've got the edge defensively. So 91 defense. They've got the slight edge on offense. But here we go. Jumping into a game here uh, against the New York Rangers. Couturier versus Zibanejad. And we are going to lose the faceoff. That's okay. I'm not too upset. Boom. There we go. Good poke. They're going to find Kreider, who's going to wire that one. Oh, my God. I thought I was there too. I got. I gotta expect better from the goaltending there. What the heck was that? Just absolutely steps in and wires it. Um, we're gonna. Korczynski's got a couple points. Good to see that. Um, but not good to see that that slap shot just went in. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and see if we got to now come back. Um, Couturier in on goal. Couturier and as easy as you like. Sean Couturier splits the defense. What turns on the Jets? There's Gritty. Oh, let's go. I haven't seen. I don't think we've seen Gritty yet. Um, but Sean Couturier now has three points. Line A has five points so far this season. And wow, what an early start in this third period. Back and forth real quick. We'll go back to Korchinski. We'll go to Couturier. Can we do it again? Oh, no, we can't. Not this time. We get absolutely knocked down. And Shostirkin's going to cover that puck. Our first line strategy is crash the net. I hate that, but, you know, uh, <laughs> it gets us a plus five. These these three superstar players are getting us a plus five. We're going to try push 
See if we can get uh, Konechny gets the puck. Korchinski, Rister. Ooh, the tip was there. Keandre Miller, who's got the uh, a goal he already in this one. Panarin finds Kreider, who's got a goal already. Line eight, his first touch of the puck for us. Line eight. Ah, we can't find anybody. Couturier up the middle. There we go. Ooh, Couturier gets decked. Oh, and Line eight can't do anything with the puck. Can't get on me a little quick. I was not exactly ready for that. Um, and there we go. We lose the puck, and we pick it up. We're going to go up to Pierre-Luc Dubois, number 80. Pierre-Luc Dubois is around. Can he cut to the front of the net? He can. Oh, what a save by Shastirk and Line on an extended shift. We'll shoot. Oh, the puck is there. Drew in. Can't get the rebound. Shastirk it was just hanging there. It was sitting there. But we could not pounce on the rebound. And it's still 2-2. Oh, man. I, I saw there was a little bit of a gap there. And, you know, we, we attacked it. And there's Casper Halton in with his make it snappy. I can't wait till he gets to jump up on the first line someday. Um, but that day is not today because we are trusting um, our offseason signing. Good uh, back check, but we lose the puck there. Lafreniere is going to get the puck. We're going to go down and around. There we go. Klingberg, the offseason trade. What can he do with it? We're going to break it out and up to Kasper Haltonen. Kasper Haltonen is around the outside. Toe drag cuts the front. Oh, what a nice move, but good work there in the offensive zone. Sandheim's in deep. Oh, and the stick lift on Drew in is able to prevent any goal scoring opportunity. And now the Rangers dump it in with 10 minutes to go in the period. We're going to skate around the net. We're going to go up with it. Uh, we're going to go up to Dubois. Oh, Capo Caco, though. And he's going to try and dump it, but it actually hits Sanheim. So Sanheim's going to get it up to Haltonen. Haltonen's going to, uh, I tried to sauce it, but Joel Farabee does end up getting the puck. Can he go to Halton? And he can. What a shot and what a save. Uh, oh, good forecheck from Haltonen. Halton in. What's he gonna, where's he gonna go? We're gonna stop. We're gonna cut to the middle. Ooh, we got nothing there. Oh, Lehman though. The two young rookies. Well, not they're not rookies anymore. The shot though from Lehman. Uh, they came in in the same draft class. Our, our first ever draft class. Sandheim now with the back check. Klingberg not wearing number five. Sandheim number six. Sandheim misses the check. Schneider cuts in alone off the post. Oh my goodness. Lehman was late to get out there. And you know what? We're just gonna dump that thing deep. Faraby, get in and work. Lauzon now with the puck. Lauzon, oh my god, I even read it. I even read it. Oh my god, who's got the yellow skates? Who's the one with the yellow skates? Who the heck is that? Oh my goodness. Lehman over to Hayes. Hayes protects the puck. We're gonna stay with it. Stay with it. We're not. Let's not. Let's not force anything. Um, we got a guy in the middle. Lehman. Hish. Oh my god, what a wrister. Unable to get that thing on net though, or maybe it was just a good save. Eddie. Ooh, that might be one of their early picks. He's got the yellow skates, too. That's hilarious. Uh, and they're going to dump it in deep. Wrist aligning now with the puck. Let's go around. There we go. Jet Wu. Up to line A. Ah, man, that was terrible. Um, Schneider, though. Kravstov. Good stop. Yes, let's go. Just cutting him off at the blue line there. Line A now with the puck. Ah, uh, we're going to get uh, nudged off there. That's fine. I toe-dragged right into him. That's a good play defensively. Line A, though. His shot. Save. We're going to go back to the point. Ristolainen to Wu. Wu's Rister. Easy save by Shostyrkin. Our uh, our forward backed out of the way there. Uh, and with just a few seconds left, I always get engrossed in the game and forget to look at uh, Philly playbook. Okay. We'll just go, go with the Philly playbook. We now have Frost out there. Frost gets pushed on the faceoff. Fox now. Fox is able to skate with it. Fox, the dangerous defenseman. He finds Kreider, who already scored once from a slapper. And now we got Provorov. He's leading the rush with just 14 seconds to go. He's on Keandre Miller in front of the net. Oh, there was a couple guys. Panarin now is going to find Zabenejad. Provorov, not much time left. We fired on a good hard block. Over on the back door is Frost with 2.8 seconds left. Morgan Frost gets the goal. Assisted. Uh, I believe that was... Provorov with the assist. It might have been. I don't know. Korchinski too. Could have been. All I know was one of our defenders. We pulled it out of the scrum. We found Frost. It was Korchinski getting the assist there with Morgan Frost. And we should, at this point, have won the game with just 2.8 seconds to go. I'm going to try and tie him up. It works. Bobby Brink, get that thing in deep. And we are going to win on home ice against the division rival in the New York Rangers. What a game. That was fun. Uh, nine shots to their one. Their one shot just happened to go in, too. So Carter Hart um, had a very quiet third. Oh, my goodness. What defense did we play? Uh, but as you guys can see, uh, it is always fun when I get to play the AI. Uh, but a 3-2 win there against 
the New York Rangers. Patrick Laine with uh, three goals and two assists in his first five games. Let's continue here, guys. Uh, we'll get up to this Pittsburgh game and then take a look. Um, Dubois wants to speak about his ice time. Um, I uh, for, No, I feel like 15 minutes a night is good for you, uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Um, I'm counting on you to be a team player. Um, I disagree. Thanks. I guess that's for me to decide. Uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois lost one morale. Morgan Frost wants to speak about his ice time concerns. Um, we have a convincing chance. I feel like 10 and a half minutes is not enough. Um, I think we're just gonna get, to, wow, now get back to the dressing room. That's a bit, uh, aggressive. Um, there we go against Winnipeg. We're gonna win one nothing. I might want to just look to move Frost right now. Line A scored another. He scored the only goal in his, uh, in his return to Winnipeg, or I guess a revenge game against the Winnipeg Jets, if you will. Um, it's not, it's not his official return, right? He did that with Columbus, but, um, I think, uh, I think we do need to trade Morgan Frost. I think as our fourth liner, um, it just doesn't make any sense. And I feel like we can get, uh, some good value out of him here. Um, a Boyd in a third, a second in a third, Kusharev, uh, Bean, we don't really need Vitacek, Ryder, Ryder. Uh, I feel like we liked, we did like Ryder, Ryder in the draft. And I think maybe instead of a fourth, we could go ahead and snag, uh, maybe a fourth line forward. Uh, but he's 66 at 18 with the X factors. I, I feel like this is worth it. Frost is on the fourth line. He's going to be complaining about ice time all season. I really don't have a spot for him. Ryder, Ryder's a pretty well-rounded player with a good shot. Will someday potentially be here? They also had another another forward they wanted to give me, I think. Another young guy. Vitacek, yeah. The 22-year-old at 75, though. Uh, Marcus Vitacek looks great as a playmaker, but everything else looks pretty poor. I like the well-roundedness of Ryder Ryder. Um, and then skaters matching the block. I think I'll just sort by overall. Veral, no. Um, I mean, we could play just chase on, right? Uh, but all skaters, do we have anybody that they could, like, no value here? Like, uh, Luotsa Reinen, right? Uh, E2 Luotsa Reinen, a great two-way forward that fits our bottom six. I feel like that's worth throwing in, um, for sure. At an 80 overall, that would be good for me. I'd be happy with this. Frost, um, you know, Frost, he's just gonna complain, right? Uh, and to get a medium top six prospect, he's so good, right? But uh, we just don't have the room for him anymore. He's going to complain about his ice time. He, he sort of is a fit, but not really, right? That's why he's on the fourth line. Pierre-Luc Dubois uh, is on the third or second line, and Lehman's on the other one. So I feel like, you know, a 7-1 and one start as a buyer for the uh, Detroit Red Wings. They'll upgrade Luotsa Reinen to Frost by also giving us Ryder in a fourth. Uh, I'm going to propose the trade. It's just too far off. I think we'll drop the fourth. Reject it. It's too far off again. Um, that's fine. I'll just throw in my own sixth. Who cares about our late round picks? Trade accepted. Done deal. So we now have Ryder, Ryder. Um, and in the system, we probably want to call up a guy like, uh, our, our two roads align and a sniper who's, you know, got a playmaker. He's probably not good for the minor league checker. We could bring up Hall who we already considered. Uh, Tyson Forrester could come up and play, uh, but he's not, he's not going to play. That's the thing. We want to find somebody who we don't really necessarily mine so we're gonna bring up hall i think hall is the kind of guy that i think uh being over the allowable play oh uh cancel oh wait we just traded for the world's orion and duh uh it's just because we don't we have too few dressed players but getting Ryder Ryder is a, a guy you know that we targeted that we wanted uh why is Ryder Ryder up here <laughs> uh go to roster moves that's fine Ryder Ryder <clears throat> you're gonna get sent down my guy um, there we go. Roll errors. Go to make more roster moves, I guess. Um, in the system, we will just call up Hall. Confirm. Roll errors. Go to edit lines. There we go. Um, and then we want to play Luotsa Reinen. Um, there we go. And it's, it's no longer a plus one, but he's get, he would get us a plus two instead of Farabee. And, uh, yeah, Dubois on the second line. I feel like he's fine there. Uh, there are minus six. Oh my God. Halton in has never been good defensively. This line needs somebody defensive. And I thought that would have been Dubois, but, uh, holy moly. 
We got Couturier, Konechny, Drew in, Line A, Halton in. Oh, absolutely no defenders. Cool. Um, I'm sorry, Jonathan Drew in, but we are going to flip flop you with Line A. And then Drew in. We're going to flip flop you with Korchinski. And we get a plus five. We get a plus five on the power play line one, power play line two, though. Um, I'm going to think I'm going to take. Yeah, Luoza Reinen cannot be playing there. We're going to put Pierre Luc Dubois there. That's fine. And it's Provorov. Um,. Do we want Provorov there? Do we want Klingberg there? Do we want Sanheim there? I feel like Provorov is fine. Provorov is our best defenseman. Uh, 87 with Druin, Hayes, Farabee, Dubois. Do we want Hayes or... Um, do we, I think Far Far Farabee was on that line, right? Uh, yeah, Farabee's on there. Konechny's on the first line. Okay, we're solid there. Four on four power play. Um, we're definitely going to flip-flop Korchinski with... Uh, actually, no, let's go here. Couturier, Konechny, Haltonen, I'm sorry, but you're just going to flip-flop with Korchinski. And then Line A, there we go. Uh, Four-man power play two. And then Luotsa drew in, flip-flop with Luotsa Reinen. Um, Haltonen with Provorov, and then Luotsa Reinen out. And I think I want to get uh, Dubois in, just because Dubois is going to complain about his ice time. Uh, how is our power play line two? It's zero, which is fine. And then penalty kill. Lehman and Couturier with Wu and Risto. That's fine. Uh, Paling, Farabee, Sanheim, Provorov. And then Hayes, Konechny. I don't mind that at all, to be honest. Um, Paling, Farabee's great. Lehman, Lehman, Couturier is great. I think I'd rather have Lehman playing uh, winger and having Couturier be the center. But that's fine. And I think we're good. Three line penalty kill. Lehman. Uh, we'll flip-flop him with Couturier. Uh, line two, we'll have Lehman, Sanheim, Provorov, and then, uh, Klingberg, Korchinski with Paling, just because they're offensive defensemen. So, I think we're good. Uh, we are all set here. I, I think the team looks balanced. I think Morgan Frost, um, will best lines it down in the AHL, and then just kind of move Gavin up, Forrester up for Entvisel. Yeah, Entvisel. Um, can any of these guys take face-offs? Face-off, 66-68. No, they can't. Um... Baines, Wisdom, Grimaldi. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Grimaldi, yeah, I feel actually, you know, I feel fine with that. Gavin will play the wing. Uh, Tyson Forster is much better at center. And you know what? I, I feel like they're fine down there. And then Nikitin. Oh, Ryan Ellis got sent down. Okay, so they manually sent down Ryan Ellis on me. Uh, Ronnie Adder then is going to go out and we're going to play Virgilio. Um, I think. Uh, Ryan Ellis, are you still good? Yeah, he's still great. I think, uh, Wiley Wiley, Wyatt Wiley, Wiley Wiley, um, there's, there, that's fine. And then I think Artem Goldobin is a low bottom six and Zacharias is medium top nine. So Goldobin out, uh, Ryder Ryder in and we'll move him up for Ty Ronning and he'll get a plus one there. Beautiful. All right. So Ryder Ryder is actually going to play just because they signed him to a contract a bit annoying, but we'll see how he does. But we should be all set now with all the lines in the NHL. Hopefully, we can stop. The, well, I guess to say stop the bleeding. We won. We just won two in a row. Uh, don't leave. We're not gonna leave. All right, there we go. So we're here at the end of October at three and three. Let's get to the end of November before we make any like real judgment calls, and we'll get through December and stop at our January fifth deadline. Back to back wins there. Four straight wins. Five straight wins. Things we love to see. Line A has injured his groin and will be out for another. Ay ay ay. Uh, then, then we just do this, I guess. Bobby Brink up. Yeah, we're going to move Bobby Brink up. And then here we will play Chase on. That's, we get a plus two with Paling, Luotsa, Reinen, and Chase on. Interesting. Um, Bobby Brink as a sniper. Yeah, he looks really good. Uh, honestly, he looks so good uh, rating wise. These guys actually were starting to get a plus. Power play. It's only the fourth man power play. Two is the only spot we need to fill. Um, and I think I'll just throw in right winger Bobby Brink, substitute him there, and everything else is good. Um, we get an offer, we get Ryan Murray for a second, and no, that's not one I want to do. Uh, but we are seven and three, so we've strung, after starting one and three, uh, we've strung six together. Um, so that's what we want to see. We want to see more wins like that. I, that's what I kind of expected this team to be as a top contender. Um, a fourth and Daigle for a third, I mean, no. Uh, I do need to replenish later round picks. Line A is fully healed and available to play in the team's next game. So it was just one game, but um, maybe we drop Bobby Brink for Line A and then flip-flop the... How has Bobby Brink been, though? He's he's uh, 12... 
I, I don't know, like Chase on here getting us the plus two on the fourth line. He got a goal in one of the two games he's played so far. Um, E2 loads Ryan in for us is even with six. Okay, you got a point. Uh, we're going to let Bobby Brink just chill for a minute. We're going to just see how this goes. Um, with him scratch. We're gonna, I don't want Chris Weidman. Thank you. Um, oh my God. Blomquist. No, thanks. Uh, versus Tampa. We're going to lose in overtime. It's a good, uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't care about the draft class. Tyson Forrester just head coach replaces player. I'll replace him in a minute. A shutout victory there. Um, sorry for how you're playing out there. I'm going to persuade him that he's not playing so bad. Um, thank you for the vote of confidence. He agrees. Wow. His management morale is really low. Uh, he's not, he's not my biggest fan. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but a loss to Ottawa halting in is sorry for how he's playing. Why is everybody uh, sorry about how they're playing out there? What the heck? Thank you for the vote of confidence. No changes. Glad we are on the same page. So, uh, no morale change. That's fine. Uh, against Dallas, we lose five two. Tyson Forrester is now healthy. Uh, so Goldobin out, uh, and Forrester in. Ryder Ryder's got three goals. Look at that. Things we love to see. Three goals in 11 games played. So, hey, uh, we're going to let it ride. Um, and then against Vegas. Okay. So, how do we do in that one game? I, I didn't I didn't get to see. We lost in overtime. So, back-to-back -back overtime losses. But we got points. Uh, and then we just went on a four-game losing streak to end the month here. That is uh, not... Kevin Korchinski is our leading point getter and we're out of the playoffs? Wow, okay. I thought we were doing way better. I guess 9, 8, and 2 is really not that great. Um, Chason is a mine. Okay, he's out. Yep. Uh, Bobby Brink, welcome back to the team. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it as that. Halton is a minus 2, but he's got 8 points. Yikes. So we're not really getting points out of our guys, are we? Uh, Korchinski's really the only guy putting up mad points. He's got 17 and 19 as a defenseman. Line A with 13 and 19, nine goals. That's why we brought him here. Faraby, Provorov, Druin, Hayes, Dubois. They're all minuses. Lehman, Haltonen, Klingberg. Luotsa Ryan is a massive minus. Ah, uh, I don't like that at all. Minus five for Wu, minus four for Chason and Ristolainen. So, oh, that doesn't bode well for us. Maybe we can turn it around. Oh my God, Carter Hart, step up, bro. What the heck? Um, I don't think we're going to make too many changes. I think the line, I just kind of got to leave the lines as is. Um, do, I mean, maybe I could flip-flop Farabee and Druin, but Farabee has got 13 points. Druin's got 11. Druin's getting a lot of assists. Um, Paling, no. Bobby Brink up there does not change anything. Druin gets us the plus two. The plus two is so worth it, though. Um, I'm going to leave it. I really don't know what else to do here. I think we just need to... String some together. Maybe Carter Hart just needs to bounce back. I mean, we got to get up to to another month, right? Um, that's the RFA deadline thing. But a shootout loss there. Travis Konechny, um Persuade. I really... Because I can't do anything, right? Like, I can't give him more ice time. <laughs> he's on the first line, everything. Uh, he's playing with line A and... And, uh, and... Oh, my God. Speak about your ice time. You know what? 1544 is not enough for you, Farabee. Let's go ahead and promise to give you more minutes a night at the, for the next few games. Um, I now have to stop the sim. Um, I'm desperately spamming the B button because he's going to come back and yell at me after one game. <laughs> uh, Farabee, Farabee again. He bitches at the beginning of the season and then he just puts up points. I'm going to flip flop him and Drew in. Drew in's a minus eight. He's the worst one on that line. Um, I mean, we could get a plus three on both lines. That could be good. Uh, but I feel like the top line, it's a plus. It's putting up points. It's not really putting up a ton of points. 14 points and 19, I guess, is pretty good. But um, I don't know what, what's causing the, the dysfunction right now. Um, anyway, let's get up to the end of the month. Let's get up through the end of the year. Central Scouting has updated their rankings. A shootout loss. A win, though. A 4-1 win. Finally, we win against Florida. Ryder, Ryder sprained his ankle. Uh, versus the Kings, we get shut out. Versus Edmonton, we lose in a shootout. Joel Farabee is very happy I kept my promise. Agree. Happy I could help out. There you go, Farabee. Um, a shoot, another shootout loss. Uh, we win 2-1 against Seattle. A 6-2 win against the Sharks. A 4-3 overtime win against Ottawa. This time we lose to Ottawa. Uh, we're going to put Ryder, Ryder back in the lineup instead of Goldobin. Gavin's now up to a 75. Um, where is Ryder Ryder? 
Scratched. There he is. He's still a 66, but things are okay. Yep. He's he's doing he's doing well. He's doing fine. He's got zero assists, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Gavin is do looking pretty good down there, though. Stop the sim. Flip flop and to the NHL. A uh, seven one loss, but a four three win. So really, guys, things have been so. <sighs> it's been okay. We are three points out of the playoffs with a game in hand on the Hurricanes. Um, I mean, we're six points behind the Islanders with a game in hand on them, too. Really, I'm not sure what to say about our team. Um, it might just be a down year for, um, for, for, for Carter Hart after his injury last season. 2.824 and 303. We're not scoring enough. We're just simply not scoring enough. Um, line A, Couturier... Um, forward wise, let's just take a look at that. Line A, Couturier, Konechny is doing well. Jonathan Drewin has 20 points, but he's also a minus 10. Farabee has 19 points, but he's a minus 7. Lehman's a minus 6, but, for, you know, th minus 13 for Pierre-Luc Dubois is, is horrible. Um, we need to get somebody for that second line center, and it could have been Morgan Frost. Um, and we just moved Dubois down. Hayes, Paling's a plus, though, as he always is. Paling never ceases to amaze me, being a plus. Haltonen, Luotz and Brink is even, so he's got eight points, but he is even. Uh, Defenseman-wise, a minus six and a minus five. I mean, they're both putting up a ton of points. Um, mate, I mean, and, and look at the two-way defenseman. Like, look at Provorov's defensive category. It's off the charts. Um, I don't really see anybody else we could play with them. I mean, I'm not moving Wu up to the top. Korchinski's too good to drop. I don't know what to do. Klingberg, Sandheim. Klingberg has been a the pleasant, the pleasant uh, revelation. Maybe I put Klingberg with Korchinski. And then in goal, Carter Hart still having an awful year. He's absolutely dropping the ball. What a terrible, terrible year from Carter Hart. Um, I, obviously, I'm not firing the coach. We get the chemistry, and it's amazing that our, our, you know, our team gets the plus five. And this is the worst I think we've had a season go. Um, our head coach. He he's relatively balanced. I mean, it's not not crazy behind the net balanced energy, but balance balance energy. Like it, it, it's not crazy um, what he's what he's having us do. He's not like some kind of super mega offensive coach or defensive coach or something like that. He's balanced, so I'd expect to see us doing a little bit better. We're losing a ton of games in overtime. Maybe we'll just get some puck luck. But if you guys have any suggestions or tips, um, one thing I'm thinking about is potentially moving Dubois down for, like, Hayes. Hayes is a minus six, but he's at least... <sighs> None of these guys really have a great... Def I mean, Lehman's got a really good uh, face-off rating. Maybe we move Druin back up. Uh, Faraby, he's been okay. Druin, oh, man. I really, I'm really not sure what to do unless we maybe do this and get the plus three, plus three. Um... We, we could do that and get plus three, plus three, uh, and kind of even it out a bit. The top line is a massive plus, but, like, literally every other line is a massive minus, unless you're talking Paling and Brink. Um, defensively, maybe this is where we flip-flop things. Uh, we put Sanheim and Provorov together and move Korchinski with Klingberg. Just, I mean, Klingberg's not bad. He's not a slouch defensively, and he's pretty good offensively. But Provorov is, he looks insane. I just, I don't know what moves to make to get this team clicking in the right direction. So this is what I'm going to stick with for now. That's going to be the lines. Uh, but please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe we can help turn this season around. Uh, Cause this is, this is the best team that I've had on paper and it's the worst performance we've had to date. So it's really, really just disheartening. So let me know your thoughts. I could use any help that you guys have, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see some more and I will see you guys in the next one. It's a free for all, free for all. This is free for all, free for all.